take a look at some company news. We're hearing from Tats Group today. It's holding its AGM and it had some good news on the licensing front. It is good news. The shares are up 2%. They've secured the uh, South Australian Lotteries contract for the next 40 years. They're to pay $427 million for this, which is well above the South Australian government's reserve price and is actually the highest, uh, highest valuation transaction for a lotteries uh, transaction in Australia. Uh, but lotteries really are the key for TATS Group moving forward. Uh, a few years ago we did see the Victorian government not renew their gaming licence for TATS uh, in Victoria. And this move makes sense. They will now control the lotteries across all of the states in Australia except for Western Australia. And uh, there will be significant synergies uh, involved with buying up this South Australian lotteries to include alongside the rest of the ones that they already have with the other states of Australia. And there is a fair bit to like about Tats Group in general. I mean, they have strong uh, defensive cash flows. They have an attractive dividend. Uh, but there is still some uncertainties uh, surrounding the payout uh, from the possible compensation from the Victorian government after they didn't renew the gaming licence. But also the stock just looks fairly expensive at the moment. I mean, on the past year, it's up 28%. And in terms of multiples, uh, forward-looking 2013 to 2014 PE ratio of over 18 times, uh, it looks like it's a significant premium to uh, the rest of the market at the moment. Uh, but really, a lot of the companies like this that do have strong dependable cash flows have been bought up a lot this year, uh, defensive type companies. So we've seen the share price driven up significantly for Tats Group. It's been a good performer. And I think just based on the valuations in the market at the moment, it explains why a lot of brokers have neutral to underperform ratings on the stock at the moment. Yeah, OK. Let's take a look at the healthcare space. We know CSL's rocketing up on that upgrade, uh, up about 7% at this stage. But one of the other players in the space, Ramsey Health, Care also doing well up about three percent what's that one about well both of these stocks have been good performers uh, the healthcare sector today the big outperformer up four percent as you mentioned CSL and Ramsey Healthcare really leading those games uh, gains uh, CSL's hit $50 for the first time today. They've upgraded their full year guidance to growth of 20%. It was previously around 12%. And uh, there's been so many downgrades in the market recently from many companies. It really is good to see an upgrade. And uh, certainly the market's liking it up 7% today. And there is a lot to like about CSL. Uh, they're, they're a market leader in that plasma uh, products division uh, which is seeing very strong growth worldwide at the moment and they have a very strong position and significant economies of scales within that area and this really has been reflected in the share price as well uh, CSL's up 56% year to date and that's been the big driver of the healthcare sector the healthcare sector's up 38% uh, year to date so CSL is the biggest healthcare stock on ASX 200 and if we just have a look at a chart for CSL here you can see it just started hitting a bit of resistance around $49 recently but today with this upgrade it's really broken through strongly the $50 level and as you mentioned Ram Ramsey Healthcare who's uh, the, about the third largest healthcare uh, company on the ASX uh, who's a private hospital operator the stock is up 3% today it's also had a very good year uh, it's up 35% year to date and on the charts it's looking like it could be in for a bit of a good run to continue you can see here it's just broken out of a symmetrical triangle type pattern so that's a positive um, in terms of uh, momentum moving forward Okay, Tim, broader market today. We're up a nice three quarters of a percent after that Greek debt deal. We saw a little bit of volume come back to the market after that. What do you make of trade so far? Well, I think the market was really waiting for this news. Certainly the trade earlier in the morning was very cautious before the headlines started trickling out from Europe after the open. And we just saw the Australian market just uh, move higher uh, throughout the morning uh, as those news headlines came in. Uh, the original deal, of course, was to reach a debt to GDP target of 120% by 2020 for Greece. Uh, the agreement has now been on 124%. Of course, Greece has been waiting since June uh, for the next aid payment of 31 billion euros. And uh, this agreement, on, they've agreed on a range of different options, including lower interest rates to reduce the debt load for Greece. And this will unlock. Uh, loan instalments of over 40 billion euros uh, for Greece moving forward. So certainly a positive for the market. And in terms of market performance, of course, the Eurozone situation at the moment, coupled with the US uh, fiscal cliff difficulties, have, have been the two major sources of sort of investor caution at the moment. So this would be a positive for markets moving forward. Uh, certainly, the, we've seen some good uh, other good data out of China today. Um, industrial profits uh, for the year to date through to October, October have grown half a percent. Uh, we'd seen that year to date to September they'd fallen 1.8 percent. So we're seeing continued good 
uh, economic data coming out of China, so that will also have a positive on the market.